Hey there, this is Ina and welcome to Cashew Academy. Today I will show you how to animate this. My project files are in the description as always, if you want to practice on your own. We have a lot of work, so let me jump to my computer and get this thing started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the text. Click on the T icon and then add your text. Make sure it's centered. And then we are going to change the font. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this font and the link will be in the description if you want to download it. I want to also make sure I have the folks boat and the text is all caps. So now I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to make sure this is the arc of my text animation. Once I'm ready, I'm going to open up the text layer, pad options, and then on the pad, click mask one. I need to make a few adjustments here so you can play with the first margin and the last margin until you're happy with the way your text looks. I'm going to also adjust my mask a little bit. So my exclamation mark is too close to the edge, so I'm going to adjust the tracking as well. Now, right click on your layer, layer styles, and then select stroke. I'm going to change the color of my stroke and the size of it. And then I am going to change the fill as well. Now I'm going to right click again, layer styles and inner glow. So here I'm going to make a few adjustments. First I will change the color, then I'll make the opacity 100 and then the technique should be precise. You can play with these settings until you're happy, with, but like my trope would be around 47 and I'm going to bring back the gradient to 100. Now, right click on your layer again, layer styles, and this time add satin. So let me zoom in and show you the settings. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blend mode to divide. Then I'm going to change the color and I'm going to take the same yellow, but make it slightly lighter. Now I'm going to play with the settings again. I'm going to play with the size, the distance and the opacity. You can do the same thing and play with these settings until you're happy with the way your animation looks or you can copy mine. Now right click on the layer again, layer styles and this time add a drop shadow. Now first let's change the, the blend mode to normal. Then we are going to change the color. First I'm going to change the spread to 100, the size to about 10 and the distance to about 14. And the angle is about 41 degrees. And now we want to add another drop shadow, but unfortunately we can't create two drop shadows in the same layer. So click on your layer, control D to duplicate it, rename it drop shadow, bring it at the bottom of the composition and then delete everything except the drop shadow. Okay, perfect. So now let's open up the drop shadow and I'm going to change the distance and the color of it because we want to have a different drop shadow here. Now let's right click on the first text layer, layer styles and bevel and emboss. Here we are going to change two things. The first one would be the size, uh, mine will be 15 and the soften would be around 15 as well. Now that we have our text ready, it's time to animate it. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Animation Composer tree. It's a free plugin that you can download and the link will be in the description. It's very easy to work with it. So first I'm going to browse the effects and as you can see on the right, you can see the preview. So I would like to use this effect. I'm going to click on my layer, click on the effect and then click in. Now I have this animation already ready. So that's a pre-made animation that I can apply to any layer and they have pretty cool effects. However, I would like to make a few adjustments. First, the random start value min would be around 580 and the random start value max would be the same number. However, as you can see now, this animation is pretty fast. So I'm going to drag this marker to the right uh, until I'm happy with the duration of my animation. And now I just need to copy and paste the same effect to my second text layer. So click on the layer that has the effect and then on the presets action, click copy and then click on your drop shadow layer and then click paste. So now if we play this animation, it should look pretty cool. Awesome, perfect, so we are ready with our animation. And so the final thing we gotta do is we're going to create the background. I'm going to speed this up. I basically just created a normal composition. I added circle and then I added a repeater to create my background. And then finally, I just clicked Control Y on the keyboard to, to create a new solid layer. I changed the color to white and then I created a mask with big feather so I can have this cool glow effect. 
Congratulations, your animation is ready. Don't forget to download my project files if you want to practice on your own. Thank you for your time and see you next week.